There's an emphasis at Philadelphia University to ground projects in real-world experiences and situations. One of the key aspects of the DEC program that, that makes it so unique is that at its core it's, it's combining three different disciplines that are so integral to the product development process. The team consists of two industrial designers, we have a, an MBA student, and we have an engineering student. We're working with a corporate sponsor called OmniWind Energy Systems. They've had a lot of success in the commercial sector. They're trying to develop products for the residential market. We really dive into research. We try to find out what the problems are, what is OmniWind struggling with, and then what is the, the residential market, that demographic, looking for. My role is basically to take the design concepts and fine-tune them using energy calculations. We're preparing for a benchmark presentation and get some feedback and then ultimately take those designs and develop models and prototypes. They quickly came to an understanding of what the practical realities were, how much resources were actually there, and that we were interested in pursuing something that could be commercialized within the next one or two years. Instead of making assumptions in the classroom, we're sitting in board meetings, we're looking in the eyes of the CEO, the, the sales director, the marketing director, and finding out how we can work together to create something very beneficial. The team did a very good job defining what those particular needs were in that particular marketplace and who would be a good partner. We shifted the paradigm a little bit and said, why don't we focus on people that are already interested, they already have solar panels, it's really a, a client that's primed and ready to go for this technology. Pretty was working in the background this whole time and, and going out and doing the surveys and, and what we've learned from what she has uh, investigated or surveyed was how to enter this market. You should know how to approach people. That's where I think this collaborative study is really helping. It's when you really graduate from the current line of thinking to hey, why can't we put it on a roof without penetrating the roof in any way? So that's when we really started focusing on the magic of ballasting as an option. They use the same wind resource that we're using to generate electricity. They're using that same wind to now lessen the load. Our intent now is to utilize the basic design that this team has come up with and look to then take that out into the field and do some pilot tests and then hopefully move it into more of a, a commercial mode. Our goal is to produce something that nobody has ever seen before. We want uh, residential wind energy to be like the next satellite dish or the next chimney. We want it to be something that is, is accepted, one that is beautiful and one that is, uh, is, is revolutionary. Mm -hmm.